O you who believe, eat of the good things we have provided for you and give thanks to Allah if it is Him that you serve. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to start this video by asking all of the parents a question. Who else do you think is parenting and nurturing and teaching your children? I think this is a very important question for all of us to consider because often in my interaction with other parents, I find that many hold an incorrect notion that they alone are the only parents. No doubt as parents, especially when our children are young, we do have the greatest and most important impact on the upbringing of our kids. But what about when they start to grow up? What about when they start to interact with other children? What about the things they learn at school? What about what they are learning from the programs they watch? And what about the general messages they absorb from all around them in society? My dear brothers and sisters, the purpose of the second video is to bring to your attention a very critical aspect of your children's upbringing, which we need to be aware of and inshallah, we can then work to then manage those harms and dangers in a much better way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me Islam as my way of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made me part of the best nation in the world, the Muslim. What has Allah done for us and me? Let's talk about mankind for a bit. He made man the most intelligent creature walking the earth. We worship Allah because he is our Rabb. Allah says in the Quran, Indeed I am Allah. There is no deity except me. So worship me and establish prayer for my remembrance. Very often we find ourselves within the Muslim household that parents will raise their kids on the foundation of halal and haram and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he rewards each and every parent for this fantastic job that they are doing especially in such difficult circumstances because my brothers and sisters they are difficult circumstances the foundation of halal and haram that we built in our kids how often did we see within our own communities and within our own families that that foundation was shaken and then broken when our children left the home and entered society. The young Muslim girl who abandoned her hijab because she fell for the societal argument that hijab is oppressive. The young Muslim boy who abandoned his salah because he became affected by the views of his friends who said he should worry about the deen later. The young Hufaz who abandoned the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they followed the idea in society that our life is about enjoyment and we should live to please ourselves only. Many dreams, hopes and aspirations left shattered. Scientists, we still don't know where the gases came from the great big bang that created the galaxy. Guess what I do? And um, and the heavens we created with the Maya and indeed we are expanding. The Prophet said, Very, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not look at your outward form and wealth. Father, he looks at your hearts and your deeds. My brothers and sisters, my fellow parents, the society we all live in, the society we are all bringing our kids up in, is the classroom for our children. Unfortunately for us, this society is one where its main ideas are contradictory to our ideas and our values as Muslims. Unfortunately, our children will always face this constant struggle until and unless the society around them has changed. Assalamu alaikum. I made a canvas with a list of blessings that I have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most important blessings to me are being a Muslim and having Islam and the Quran and Sunnah for guidance is the biggest blessing ever. We don't need to see Allah to believe in his greatness when he created us. He gave us free will, intelligence and many signs that point to him 
that to being the designer and creator of the universe. We are able to understand which ideas are being pushed to our children and we therefore must make the effort of preparing our children to enter, to live and engage in this society. This is a duty upon all of us as parents to make the effort to destroy the harm that such ideas may have on our children. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala support all of us in this effort. And may He subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and guide our children. Keep us in your du'as and let's lead the Muslims towards Jannah. Allah says in Surah Nahr verse 17 to 18, is then he who creates the same as one who creates not. Will you not then reflect? And if you would try to count the favors of Allah, you would never be able to count them. Truly, Allah is our oft forgiving, most merciful. <laughs> Ya Rabbi